All right, chapter three, section two, parallel lines. Same as the last section, except now the, the lines are equal distance apart, which means they're going to have specific values for all of the angle relationships. So this time, it's still the same. What are uh, four and five? What are they called? Just a quick review. Four and five, alternate interior. How about two and seven? Alternate, alternate exterior. How about four and eight? Corresponding. How about three and five? Consecutive, Consecutive interior. How about one and four? Vertical. Vertical. That's not really one of the relationships we're focusing on today, but just one to keep in the back of your brain. How about six and eight? Supplementary. Supplementary. Thank you. Anything that's side by side, five and six, seven and eight, three and four, two and four, uh, one and three, those all make a line, which means they're supplementary, 180 degrees. Okay. Now, the relationships go like this. Angle one, or let's go with three and six first. Angle three and angle six are alternate interior. Because those two lines are parallel, because they're equal distance apart, now alternate exterior or alternate interior angles are what? What do you think their their relationship is? What do they look like? They're acute. I agree with that in this case. But what's the what does angle three and angle six? What do they look like? They look like they're the same, and they are. Okay. So when the lines are parallel, all of your alternate interior angles are congruent. Okay. This, excuse me, let me let me rewind. The pair is congruent. Three is congruent to six. So what's the other one that's going to be congruent? Four and five. So I'm just going to list those underneath. Is congruent. Angle four is congruent to angle five. No, they're not vertical angles. They're just congruent. Verticals are going to be two and three, directly across from each other. Yeah. Okay. So the same relationship is true with alternate exteriors. So angle one and angle eight are alternate exterior, which makes them congruent. And so our other pair of alternate exterior are going to be what? Two and seven. Bless you. Okay, I'm going to do all the congruent ones first, and then we do have another relationship. Um, angle 1 and angle 5 are called what again? Uh, corresponding. corresponding. Okay, so angle 1 is congruent to angle 5. I'm going to go ahead and get all of these. So angle 3 is congruent to angle 7. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 6. And what's the last one? 4 and 8. Angle 4 is congruent. You know, I could just scroll this down so I don't have to bend over. That would be good. To angle 8. Okay, so all of the corresponding angles are congruent to each other. So I've only got one more left, really. For the, the big relationships, what's the relationship we haven't talked about yet? The consecutive interiors. Okay, so consecutive interiors uh, three and five. Do they look equal? No. Now let's use some proof logic here. If that one is equal to that one, this plus this is going to be how much? 180. Okay, so angle 3 plus angle 5 is going to be 180. They are supplementary, which means angle 4 plus angle 6 is going to be how much? 180. And those are our consecutive interiors. Okay. So they're either equal to each other in all the relationships or they're supplementary. Okay. How are we going to use this? Well, you might 
take this and I could tell you that this one is 65. I'm going to tell you that angle there is 65. Now I want you to find all of the other seven missing angles. Go. This angle right here. Why? Shh. Why? What? Why? Alternate interior. Alternate interior. Okay. What is this angle? 115. Why? Supplementary. Good. What is this angle? 115. I didn't even ask why yet. Why? They're not supplementary. Oh, well, okay, let me rewind. Sorry, I, I got to take that away. Yes, it's supplementary to the 65. But what's the relationship to the one I just did? Alternate exterior. Okay, got me on that one. My mistake. Um, how about this angle right here? 115, because it's vertical or because it's supplementary to the consecutive interior. Either way you want to look at it. Okay, how about this one? 65, because it's vertical. How about that one? 65, alternate exterior. How about that one? 115. That looks pretty easy, right? Yeah, they're not going to give them to you that easy. Okay, so it will look something like this. Why did we just do that? So you could see the relationships. Okay, just stop. Okay, what about... I want you to solve for x and y. Okay. 